everybody in the world that's got a beard is getting involved in this uh, YouTube uh, uh, beard growth uh, video game and uh, reviews and so forth. I thought, why not? I've got one. I can give you some opinions. I just want to tell you a little bit about one product that I've not seen anybody review, and that's the Plant Therapy uh, Beard Balm. Hey, there's lots of good beard balms and oils out there. If you've got a beard, you know that. You've probably used a bunch of them like I have, and, and hey, they work well for the most part. One thing I figured out is You've got to make sure you can stand the smell. Uh, most of these have a little bit of a smell, uh, some of them stronger than others, but I've realized that what smells good initially when I pick it up or I'm in the barber shop or with my buddy or whatever, you know, it smells good for a minute, but you know, when you stick it on your beard and you got to smell it all day, everything changes. And uh, lots of times, man, that smell kind of overwhelms you after a while. But I'm going to tell you about plant therapy. I don't know what they use, and I don't know these people. They use the standard uh, products. Let me just tell you what you will find in all balms and, and oils and such, uh, beeswax, shea butter, almond oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, uh, cinnamon cassia, sandalwood, and vitamin E. But the thing I like about uh, plant therapy, besides the fact that it's all natural and essential, is I don't even know where my wife got this for me initially. She ordered it for me the first time, and and uh, I was kind of hesitant because it didn't look all that you know, cool packaging, but the, the, the realization I came to quickly is that, man, it smells fresh. It's got a fresh scent to it, almost like uh, the air after a spring rain or clean clothes or something, but but it's not overwhelming, and it, and it just, uh, it, yeah, you can put it on, and it smells good initially, lightly, and then, uh, and then you don't really smell it after that. It doesn't bother you, overwhelm you. It's not greasy. It does help control the frizz, and look, I'm not an expert. Uh, people have a lot bigger, you know, beards than I do. Uh, but if you, you know, you can see the results. My beard is fairly smooth and controlled. And uh, yeah, you know, I do a little bit of blow drying to straighten out some of the curls. Otherwise, I've got this huge curly thing going on. And those of you who have beards understand that. But uh, And one thing I did learn early on watching beard videos is uh, George Bruno, many of you know, the Sultan of Silver, encouraged me a lot when he had his long beard before he cut it off, obviously. And, and uh, he said, always wear clothing that... Uh, that will cause your beard to stand out. So because I've got primarily white beard, I do have dark hair, almost black, which my hair was never black. I don't know where that came from. And the cinnamon, if you can see it, are brown around the mouth, which I'm not sure exactly why. No vulgar crude jokes there, okay? So I've got three colors going on here, but primarily white. So dark colors have a tendency to set it off. And you can see whether it's in control or not. Uh, listen, all of you know how to take care of beards probably. Uh, I just want to give you a little uh, heads up on this plant therapy. It's uh, average price, 14, 15 bucks, which is about average, you know, maybe high for some and not nearly as high as other brands. Uh, but I'm on my second can now because it was that good. And I've got a stack of cans under the cabinet that just weren't good enough for me to continue to use. Man, they either stunk or they were greasy or, uh, you know, everybody thinks they know how to make a beard balm or oil and they don't. Uh, and I don't know how they get the same... Uh, ingredients in there but somehow the the amounts they place and how they do it you know some are much better than others and so anyway shout out don't know these folks but a shout out to uh, plant therapy and uh, this their beard balm uh, hey I'm gonna be starting a journey pretty soon it's a pretty uh, pretty different and pretty incredible for me and uh, I'm not big on recruiting but if you want to subscribe or like the video uh, I'm gonna be logging a journey vlogging a journey that I'm about to take for the next year and uh, yeah, not a, not, a, not a trip around the world or anything, but just a change in my life and uh, vocation, vocationally an addition uh, that I'm making. And I just want to log the journey because I'm not a young man at 54. And, um, and I want to encourage you that, man, you can uh, add things to your repertoire or change your life or, or do whatever uh, is in your heart to do. So, uh, hey, hope this helps you. Man, if you haven't uh, tried it, I think this will, would uh, bless you. So uh, check it out. And uh, like and subscribe. You can check out some other videos I'm going to be posting in the future. So, hey, take care. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me.